Now that we know how to add a digital product to our shop's library and make it available for purchase in our online shop, it's time to run through precisely what your customer will experience during the checkout process when buying one of your products. But before doing that, we have to ensure that our email settings are programmed exactly as we want them to be. And to do this, we need to enter the settings section, which can be found under basket, and obviously enter the emails area. The most important thing to check in this section is underneath the send your customers an email option. Now we have to double check that we have clicked yes here. Otherwise, your customer will not receive any email after they have made a purchase and therefore they will not be able to access the digital item that you have included. So double check that this is correct and that you've selected yes. Once you've done that, focus on the email that will be sent to your email. So a little summary of the purchase itself and a receipt. Now this will go to the email that you use on a daily basis. So double check that, that is correct as well. The next thing to do is underneath the email sent from area. And here we need to double check, obviously, that the customer is receiving its email from your professional address as opposed to your personal address or an irrelevant address. So these are three things to keep in mind when you are managing your online shop and the last thing to do is to include some default text now you'll notice that in the previous video we added some customized text to go with that digital download that we had included underneath a specific item and this text differs insofar as it is included in every single email that the customer will receive after purchase regardless of what that product is and regardless of whether there is a digital download included within it it is always there and once we're absolutely sure that our settings are programmed to send emails to the client and once we're happy with the email addresses that we've got selected and the text that we've got to be included in the email we need to hit save and our settings are how we want them and what I'm going to do now is that now we're happy with these settings, I'm going to make a fictitious purchase of three products in the online shop. One that has a file attached to it, one that has a link attached to it, and one that has an expired link. And we're going to run through the process of seeing what happens when we click on each one in the confirmation group. So now you can see that our payment has gone through. We want to now head over to the confirmation email to check our downloadable links. And as we can see, the confirmation email has landed safely in our inbox. So let's go and have a look at our digital products. Now, because we bought three separate items in our shop, each of which containing its own unique digital item, there are three links for us to access. So let's walk through each one of them, starting at the top, of course. Now, as you can see, the short title that we imposed in the digital links and downloads section in the previous video is in bold and at the top, followed by the text that we want it to sit above the link in question. And then, of course, we have the self-destruct rule, this one being Saturday. So this particular link is a document. So let's see what happens when we click through on it. And sure enough, in the bottom left of our screen, the document is there ready for us to read when we please. And the process is effectively the same with the second one. It has the same structure. The self-destruct rule is slightly different, this time 12 hours. And this one is a link. So let's see what happens when we click through on it. And sure enough, there it is, ready for us to read straight away. But what if one of the links that we clicked on was expired? What would happen then? Well. Let's go back to the email and find out. Scroll down here and you'll see that this link has an expiry date that's already passed. So when we click through on it, we'll see that we get this message here. So any time that your customer clicks on a link that is no longer available, this is the message that they will see. So now that we've walked through exactly what your customer will experience when they click on either a document link or expired link in the confirmation email, we have basically gone through the full process of using digital products on your online shop. 
I hope this video series has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye-bye.